Hey guys, welcome to Fuentes de Vida Speak Graffiti Live Poetry Jam. And here I am going to be sharing with you some of my poems, selection of my poems. The first one is How Carlitos Courts a Man. And it's not for weak ears. Carlito says, look at her red juicy lips and them titties dangling low, ass so tight you could squeeze yourself in them. So, um, you got weed? What he means to ask is, can he suck my dick? Built on Boricua Boogie Down Bronx myths about reproduce to make la familia, la raza stronger. Myths about dicks are for chicks only instead of dealing with his absent father figure. He can't just suck my dick without invoking African gods or running his mouth about Orishas, talking about Yo soy el hijo de Shango, I'm the son of Shango. He's on cloud nine and through puffs of chiba chiba that veil him from his tongue, running down my shaft. I get a glimpse of him on bent knees asking Oya to ride him away from himself. I don't complain. I am honored. He'd stash his b-boy soul in my drawers. Along with the rest of his shame, and I too am in a closet addicted to men who dare not know themselves. Terrified of intimacy, he inhales amyl nitrate poppers to keep himself too wasted to notice my kids running down his mouth. Carlitos is in the palms of my hand, and he feels so good, but I'm learning to let him go. Let love fold my edges and creases, legs, back, tongue, twisting and turning me out like origami. And here's another poem that I'm gonna share with you guys. <laughs> this one's called, To Love Our Locas, To Love Our Sissies. Who among us is bold enough to love our locas, our sissies, to love their effeminacy, their soft hands, their small waist, ballerina dreams, lip gloss, lips? Who among us is bold enough to love what they find within? The goddess chained to our own madhouse, ourselves. Why do we disdain such beauty? Is there an archaeologist among us who can excavate themselves and pluck out the root of our disdain, our sissyphobia? Would it mean turning each other inside out and claiming our manners, our limp wrists, our feminine wiles for ourselves? Who among us is bold not to join the raucous crowds? That bully, so we ourselves are not detected and found out. Will anyone stand up? How Jose suppresses his femininity in you, a madhouse, an abyss, an asylum, a cell. You keep her there and tell no one. You don't let anyone hear her sobbing. You keep those limp wrists in your pockets because some gays hate shadows. You keep those limp wrists in your pockets because even some gays hate rainbows. Take some pot, swallow some Tina, inhale poppers. Keep her lisp down. Don't admit to her writhing and eat inside. She's the girl in your boy. The goddess chained, come down from your ballerina dreams disguised as a butch messiah to feed queens starving for trade, their power. Straight acting always. You rock your Timberlands, your rocky fresh fitted, a jersey with logos, emblems of an athletic spirit you don't have. While the girl in you aches to be free, Will you let her out? And this next poem here is called Davy Takes Back His Roots. Davy Takes Back His Roots. Here's how Davy Takes Back His Roots. What's that you say? Yo soy Dominican, not Moreno. I am de Lima, but I don't fuck Peruvians. Your taste buds been tainted by some Eurocentric white is right that has you fiending for white dicks when there ain't nothing more beautiful than indio con indio y también con morenos. And I've exhausted the sight of geriatric gringos getting more dick than me in my viejo San Juan, my beautiful brothers, earth-toned and Gaia-skinned, mis indios trigueños mulatos mixed mestizos. 
Uncle Sam tearing out your ass from behind will not lighten your skin, will not turn your almond eyes blue. His come down your throat will not endow your tongue with speaking English, German, or French. I mean, fucking white boys is cute, but ain't nothing like how we do. Melding of races that know themselves intimately, profound this Latino on Latino is who we are. Cartagena on top of Mayagüez, Santo Domingo beneath Guayaquil. Love your culture like I love myself, so we can do it all night. Wet in each other's accents. I want you to blow me like El Nino blew the coast of Mexico and come these roots, these raices down your throat so you can taste the sweetness of yourself. Thank you.